Hi everyone and welcome back. Where are we today? Today we're in Gloucester Road, not far from Kensington. Now we've come to a restaurant because loads of you have said, look, really like you to try Lebanese food. And we actually haven't done that on our channel yet. Where are we going? We're going to Baba Ganoush. As always, let's give it a go. Oh, hang on. It's an authentic Lebanese restaurant as well. So everything in there is all homemade. So I'm really looking forward to this. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've come inside. I've got the best seat in the house. Lovely and warm in here. Obviously freezing cold outside, pouring rain. The restaurant itself, incredibly busy. Really, really packed. Looking at the menu here, very extensive menu. I'll let you guys take a look at it, but they've got everything from pizzas, salads, breakfast, everything. Me, I'm gonna go for their spicy hummus. Um, I'm also gonna go for their mixed grill. Now in their mixed grill, it comes with barbecue lamb, uh, shish tawak, uh, and kafta, which basically is chicken breast, um, uh, barbecue lamb skewer, and some uh, minced lamb as well. Um, it comes with grilled tomato and onions, and I've ordered that with rice. And just to mix up a little bit, I'm going for their chicken shawarma, only because I'm sitting here and I can actually see it being made. Okay, I'll see you when the meal arrives. Really extensive menu. Hummus has arrived. We'll take a close up on that. They're in there. It's got some fresh green chilies, mint. Uh, looks wow. And what really looks good, and they are a little bit hot to say the least. That's the homemade Lebanese bread. Let's just break that open. Oh, look, you can see the steam rising out of that. Wow, that is really hot. Okay. Let's dive in here and see what it tastes like. Nice big dollop on there. Mm. Okay. That hummus is really thick, creamy in texture, really creamy. The interesting thing there, I'm just coming closer and see the chilies in there and they have got a fantastic kick that is superb mm. and the mint wow that complements it perfectly what i do like as well is this bread it's homemade when it's all put goes away brilliantly you can see a nice charring on the outside as well. That is incredible. Obviously made in house as well. You've got the olive oil in there as well. And the chickpeas. Brilliantly. That's so, that's so well blended. Seriously, that is incredible. Mm. You can't get enough of it. So the meal's arrived, presentation-wise, that looks fantastic. Here you've got the chicken uh, shabok, which is chicken breast, the kafta, which is the minced beef, and the barbecue, minced lamb, sorry, and the barbecue uh, lamb as well. Some rice, the salad, and then here, you've got the chili sauce. I don't know what that is, that could be mayonnaise. 
Oh, it's kind of a got a garlicky taste to it and a bit of a bit of a kick to it as well. You've got a chili there and uh, onion. Presentation wise, that looks great. Tomato as well. It's all about the taste. So let's tuck in. And also, I've got my chicken shawarma there. Um, I'm going to try that in a few minutes. I want to try this one first. Now today, without a shadow of a doubt, the cameraman's going to have to help me because there's no way I'm going to be able to eat all this. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the kafta here. Again, it's very nicely cooked. Cut it out. You can take a look inside here. You can see lots of herbs. Yeah, it's been nicely skewered. Cooked throughout, nicely cooked. Mm. It's been really well minced, obviously packed together, and it's packed full of flavour. The herbs in there, I'm not too sure what them herbs are. I'll say there's some mint in there. Yeah, definitely the um, mint. And there's a little bit of chilli as well. That has got a real nice flavour to it. I'm going to try it with some of the chilli, actually. Mm. That's excellent. That chilli's hot. Why do I always get stuff that's too hot? That chilli's really warm. Down to the chicken breast. Again, excellent charring on the outside. I don't know what this um, purple stuff is, but yeah. Let's cut through and have a look. Again, it's chicken breast, perfectly cooked. Mm. So there's obviously coated it in some spice there. Flavour comes through excellent. Doesn't overpower that chicken at all. That chicken breast is really good. Now the barbecue lamb. Now this could be the most difficult one to cook. Cuts through very nicely. It's definitely medium to well done. That's outrageously good. It really is. Cuts brilliantly. The flavour of that lamb totally melts in your mouth. Now, I, would have, I would have thought that was the hardest thing to cook there, but they've cooked it perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Let's have a look at the rice. Okay, the rice is nice and fluffy. What's that in there? We've got a bay leaf in there. That's excellent rice. Come on then, let's try the chili. Tiny piece of chili. No more chili. So over here we have the salad. We'll try this uh, purple stuff. Do you know? That's turnip. Yeah, that's only from the salad before. But it's really crunchy. It's nice and fresh. Let's try some of the lettuce there as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tuck in here. And I'll see you guys shortly. Again, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this because I don't want the shawarma, the chicken shawarma, going cold. Now again, first impressions, yeah, there's an awful lot in there. Portion-wise, that's a really good portion. You've got the garlic sauce in there, you've got pickles, and obviously you've got the chicken shawarma. And what I really like, I actually watched him cut it all off fresh in front of me. Privileged seat, actually. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Wrap itself, nice and crispy on the outside. Well, typical me dropping it everywhere. Okay, let's just take it apart for a second. So you've got the chicken in there, 
you've got pickles, the garlic mayonnaise, everything. So let's, let's just try the chicken on its own. Well, and with a pickle. Mm. That is very succulent, nice and juicy. It's not dry in any shape or form. It's got herbs in there. And what I like as well, it's all homemade. So they create it and do it themselves. So they obviously know and take care with the ingredients that go into it. It's got a real nice flavor to it. The garlic and the pickle complements it perfectly. And the bread itself, again, homemade. Wow. Always making a mess. And again. Mm. That does not need any chili sauce. Because the flavours are so good. I wouldn't want to ruin the flavours with the chili sauce. Okay, I've got to come back to the hummus. I was, it all arrived, the meal, all at the same time. And I can't let that go to waste. And I'm really full up. Can't let that go to waste. Okay, so I've got the bill. I want to talk about the restaurant first of all. The thing that staggered me is how busy it's been in here. Absolutely packed. I think the standards are excellent. Um, I want to talk about the service a bit later on. On to the food. So I had my spicy hummus. Really, really impressed with that hummus. It kind of, it had a velvety kind of taste and everything was mixed and ground up perfectly. Really nice heat off the chilies. Loved it. I, I can honestly say it's the best hummus I've ever had. The bread itself, well you saw it. Homemade, made inside, looked impressive. Wow. And the bread itself, well I know what it's called. It's called Cobbets. Because the sign's right behind me. Brilliant bread. Loved it. Okay, I'm going to start off with my chicken shawarma. Ah, oh, that was excellent. Nice, nice in that wrap. The chicken itself had a brilliant flavour to it. Uh, excellent uh, with the pickles and the uh, mint as well. All together as a combination. I thought that was really good, especially for the money. And I'm going to go through that in a minute. The value for money, that was incredible. Now the mixed grill. The star of that mixed grill was the barbecue lamb. Cut into it cut beautifully, melted in your mouth. If I was coming back here, I've got to be honest, I would just have the, uh, the barbecue lamb. The chicken itself, real nice flavor to the chicken, cut nicely, it was chicken breast, chicken was, uh, was good. The minced meat uh, lamb, that was, that was good, but without being exceptionally good. The problem with that was the actual lamb, uh, barbecue lamb was so good, it kind of made the, the minced lamb not so good if you know what I mean. But again, it still had a lovely flavour to it, nice herbs in there. All together, as a plate of food with the rice, the salad, uh, was excellent, absolutely excellent. So the total bill was £35.71. Now breaking that down, the spicy hummus was £7.25, the mixed grill was £17.90, and the chicken shawarma wrap was only £6.90. And I think that was fantastic value, really good. It had a 10% service charge on there, which is £3.66. So what mark am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a fantastic 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. If you're ever here in the Gloucester Road area or Kensington, you've got to get down here to Baba Ganoush. It is a truly brilliant place to come to. Would I come back here again? Without a shadow of a doubt. However, I don't think I'd come back right at the peak of the lunchtime because it was incredibly busy and the staff were under a bit of pressure so I'd probably come either before lunch if you like or in the afternoon or early evening. As always if you'd like to subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate that and your comments I really want to hear your comments what did you think of Baba Ganoush? Would you come here? Until next time as always cheers. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.